Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I wanted to share a book with you that I've recently read and I thought was very interesting. It's called Wild Bunch Women by Michael Rudder. And you've probably all heard of the Wild Bunch or the Hole in the Wall Gang, like Butch Cassidy, Sundance Kid, Kid Curry, Elza Lay. And this is a book about the women who love them. So for better or for worse, these women were just drawn like moths to a flame to these outlaw men. They were just exciting and adventuresome and magnetic and the women just couldn't resist them. The most famous of the Wild West women was probably Etta Place. She's the one that traveled with Butch and Sundance to South America. And she's the most mysterious because the least is known about her and no one even believes, well historians don't believe that was even her true name. They feel like perhaps she was an acquaintance of theirs from childhood or she had been a soiled dove that they had befriended along the way or even a school teacher searching for adventure. And then after she went with them to South America there are ships logs that show that she returned to America three times and then disappeared and no one knows whatever happened to her. So that is a great mystery of the one of the um, wild bunch women. Another famous one was uh, Fanny Porter and she was their favorite madam. She had the brothel that they enjoyed when they went to San Antonio, Texas. And she was truly a friend to theirs. She was a brilliant businesswoman, very successful in the early Western days. And lots of the women that they loved came from their acquaintances through Fanny Porter. Then there were the two young Mormon girls, Ma Davis and Rose Warner, that when they were laying low, they would go out into Utah, Wyoming, and they met these two of them, like Elza Lay, and Matt Warner uh, became acquainted with these lovely young maidens who were just drawn to them, couldn't resist them, loved them, married them, and then were set up for lives of heartache because they couldn't give up their outlaw ways. And these women wanted their men to settle down and, you know, live a respectable life on a ranch and have children and go straight, and it was just impossible for them. And both Elsa Lay and Matt Warner ended up going to prison because they couldn't give up their outlaw ways. Then there were the um, Bassett women, and there was Elizabeth Bassett and her two daughters, Anne and Josie. And Elizabeth wasn't uh, like a girlfriend or a lover to these guys because she was more like a mother figure. And when they were laying low, they would come to um, Eastern Utah and work at her ranch. And that's how they befriended the wild and gloriously free Anne and Josie, who were her daughters, and they were just untamed girls of the West. Anyway, there are many, many uh, interesting women in here. It talks about their rambunctious lives and the lives of hardship, too, because these were not men you should be loving, and it helps you to understand more of the types of women and, and the characteristics that all girls have in common, and I thought it was very interesting. So if you're looking for a book about feisty, real women of the West, look for Wild Bunch Women by Michael Rudder. I thought it was very fun to read and I uh, enjoyed it. So leave a message on what books you like to read and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny Channel. Have a wonderful day.